And so we're trying to figure out its velocity. How fast is it going? And in physics, to calculate velocity, it's simply distance divided by time. And so how much distance does the Earth travel to get around the sun once? Well, if we assume that it's a relatively circular orbit, which it isn't really, it's actually an elliptical orbit, but for this calculation, you can get an average velocity by assuming a circle. Well, what is the distance you have to travel to go around a circle? Well, that distance is the circumference of the circle. And the circumference of any circle is just two pi r, right? And so r, in this case, is the distance from the Earth to the sun, which is known. And that's divided by time. Speed equals distance over time. Well, the time is also known, 365 and a quarter days. So if we plug in all of this information, remember the radius in this circle, which is the distance from the Earth to the sun, is 149 billion meters away, and then divided by 365.25 days. For a velocity, we're trying to calculate meters per second, so that means this time needs to be in terms of seconds. Well, we know there's 24 hours in a day, right? 24 hours in one day, and there's actually 3,600 seconds per hour, and so that means this bottom term has to be multiplied by 24 and by 3,600. And if you do all this math, what you calculate is the actual velocity of the Earth on average as it goes around the sun is approximately 29,785 meters per second. That's almost 30,000 meters per second. We're traveling very, very fast. This is over 66,000 miles per hour.